I want to bring in Alina Hava. Damn. She, of course, is an advisor to the president's campaign. She's a lawyer who has been in court with him in many different scenarios. And your initial reaction to this ruling as we have just been handed it and been, we're kicking, it, kicking the tires here. I want to get your thoughts, Alina. Yes, obviously, I haven't read the decision as it just came out, and I've read little parts of it. Here's what I think. I think that the justice has made the right decision. Nixon v. Fitzgerald outlined this. Absolute immunity is important for all presidents. I've said it time and time again. Um, I've argued on immunity for President Trump, and I think they did get right that they recognize absolute immunity exists. Another thing that um, I do think needs to be pointed out is that they said presumptive immunity exists for acts within the outer perimeter of his official acts. So what's going to happen now is that they basically have said, sorry, Jack Smith, you don't get to just impede and intrude on the executive branch. We get to have protections for presidents who are doing things while they are in office so that they don't come out and get targeted and criminally and civilly sued. It's incredibly important. It was a good decision. Obviously, I believe absolute immunity should exist for the executive branch, but they did recognize it. And the presumptive immunity now will then get outlined, kicked back down to the courts, and they will look at it. But the presumption that any president and President Trump was acting within the perimeter, the outer perimeter of his official acts, is clear through this decision from what I've read so far. Obviously, I'll examine it and speak about it further on the network, but I think that this was a very, uh, a very good decision for us. Alina, it's Brett Baer. Uh, the AP writes it this way. They say uh, Supreme Court sends Trump's immunity case back to a lower court in Washington, dimming prospect of a pre-election trial. I mean, is that what you all are hoping for, um, and that, that that would be the end result, is that anything gets past the election on any of these cases that are pending? You know, Brett, that's let me first start by saying that the team here, the legal team for President Trump, and I think the American people think that these cases should never have existed. Let's just be clear. But now we are in this political uh, attack on a leading candidate because they can't win with their candidate. So we are where we are. Now, as a legal, uh, as an attorney, as a legal spokesperson, I would just say this. Of course, it is a good day when the Supreme Court recognizes constitutional rights of presidents and the executive branch, but we should never have been in this situation to start with. This is a disgrace to America. So, yes, the lower courts, again, will have to hear it. It will, in my opinion, slow down Jack Smith's persecution and selective prosecution of President Trump. And I don't see how this case could go forward before the election. But again, I would say that there's still issues to be discussed, such as how Jack Smith even got into this position, how we allowed our democracy, how we allowed the republic to become one that targets political opponents. Um, we should, the fact that we've been in front of the Supreme Court so many times is frankly a sad day for the American people. It's, it's election interference at its finest. But I'm happy today. I think that Chief Roberts, uh, Chief Justice Roberts, uh, made a good decision for what I'm seeing. Of obviously, I need to read it fully, but um, recognizing Nixon v. Fitzgerald, upholding that decision, and stating that absolute ex immunity does exist for presidents is a good thing. It's an important thing for all Americans, both Democrat and Republican. Alina Haba, thank Alina, you thank for you. being here. We appreciate that. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.